got a lot of barbecues over there or not? Not really. Uh, it's when it's Savannah, so I have to drive over there. Yeah, I guess. All right, Steven, what are you getting done today, bro? You want to get a low fade. Low fade? Yeah, okay. Low fade, keep the um, C cup? Yeah, keep, yeah. Okay. Uh, dart and then line up, fade the beard and the eyebrow. Okay, are you taking anything off the top? No. No, no, top. All right, so low fade, clean the beard. Let's, let's do it, bro. YouTube, what is going on guys? Listen, I am out of town. I am recording in a hotel right now, but we no excuses. We gotta get these videos out. We're gonna start debulking with the Babeless FX3s. These are not out yet. They come out in September. I'm using my number four to start off the debulking because we're gonna do a low drop fade. Um, this texture here is pretty difficult in my opinion. Very difficult for a drop fade, um, but we're gonna do what we can. Um, and he definitely has density um like different densities um depending on what you're cutting so around his hairline he actually warned me before we got started and then i notice uh above his ear where i'm cutting like kind of where i'm cutting right now it's a it's much lighter as well so you got to keep that in mind and so i decided i was gonna do some scissor over comb in the beginning especially especially where it gets like really light as far as hair density is concerned um this is going to allow me especially for the first time cutting his hair to gauge um the different color tones that his hair ends up happening uh, uh having now the color of the actual video is, is a little bit off um one of the things that i learned by using my iphone to create most of my content is that you cannot have hdr set if you have hdr set and then you go to upload it to final cut pro or whatever you use for editing um it really messes up it's way too bright um and so georgie had to do what he could to kind of color correct it and i noticed that the finished product is a little bit off so i took um a video directly from my phone um and i tried to fix it with a hdr tool um that final cut pro does provide and so you'll be able to see the difference in the colors but on my phone it looks the best <laughs> directly on my phone so anyways um you guys will see that at the end so we're doing our initial guideline and now look i want you guys to pay attention to um after the initial guideline the difference in shades of color above the ear and then like in the back of his head and then around the hairline you can see where it's way lighter above the ear because look at it way different uh thickness of hair so he's got more hair or he's got less hair above the ears so if you don't keep that in mind when you're doing this low fade it's gonna end up looking like a mid fade all right so notice above the ear i really compress that blade open um and i don't really need to go up that high around above the ear because it's gonna look m blended with a lot less steps than the surrounding areas would so you got to keep that in mind so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start blending out what we created with the blade open and then once we've done that we'll move on to um the one open now i gotta warn you guys at some point in this video i do cut him i don't know what was up with my blade on on um, the gamma the fusion blade but those things are definitely Remember when I used them and I told you guys they definitely cut really close. Um, I did not respect this blade enough because it cuts really damn close. And um, I was just kind of blending the back of his neck like it was nothing. And I ended up cutting him. Um, and I haven't done that in a long time. So just it's more so my fault than it's the blade's fault. Because it wasn't zero gapped or overlapped. But um, it's something to keep in mind when you use the fusion blade. If you if you're the type of barber that you like something that cuts really close, this the one. <laughs> All right, so we did the one open. Now we're using the half guard to blend it. And notice we're we're not going up that high, guys. It's it's you know we're still just barely above the ear, um, and we're doing a lot of our blending because with a low fade. It's easier to keep things compressed and then spread it out little by little than it is the other way around. So now we're using our one and a half guard. And guys, his hair is was tough. Even after I go through the system, I'm probably going to detail for like another half hour. That's how hard this haircut was. 
but with these cuts you got you just got to be you got to be patient and you really got to pay attention to detail um he was asking me my client was asking me he's a uh you guys know from the consultation he's he's a student barber right now from georgia he came down to get a cut and pick my brain really smart kid he's got a, a hell of a potential he's only 19 years old um but he was like man you think if somebody watches your video they'd be able to do this cut on me i'm like bro to be honest with you no this this haircut on you is experience it's attention to detail it's knowing what you're you know being able to see the imperfections and have the patience to do it um, a lot of barbers don't have patience to do this cut part of it is because they're not paid enough you know you, these barbers that are charging 20 dollars for a cut to do this haircut i'm sorry like this cut you pay me a hundred for this <laughs> you know what i mean uh some of you guys might still disagree but uh unless you've cut his hair you won't know what i'm talking about i feel like and if you do you got that you, you're an experienced barber if you know what i'm talking about so yeah we're, we're just going back and forth and doing a lot of detailing all right he wanted his beard blended in and it, you could tell where he likes it blended so i kind of stuck to that All right, so uh, remember, we did a number four. We started with a number four on the sides. So this number three should be our last guard. Um, and then we can move on to the right side. And so I'm going to shut up for a second, let you guys follow along. Um, and then I'll get back with y'all. Right, guys so this is where i cut him up and i didn't even notice until a little bit later when it started bleeding had no idea um and it was just because i did not respect that blade i was treating it like it was a regular taper blade and um you'll see i actually put powder on it um but you'll see there it is Oof. so i put powder on it to try to stop some of the bleeding but it was it was pretty bad and he took it like a champ because he didn't say nothing and then afterwards i'm like bro you didn't feel that why you ain't say nothing and he's like yeah i felt it but he didn't say nothing there some clients won't say nothing um and then some will damn near jump out of the chair <laughs> um but he was really cool about it um i apologize i showed him the blade that it wasn't overlapped you know um and so he understood it was just a new tool that i i need to learn You could tell on this side, especially above the ear, um, it's it's everything just naturally looks like I'm fading it higher. When in reality, I'm actually trying to keep everything lower in this area. Um, so it's something that you got to kind of gauge. And then, you know, like it, obviously this area, I got to keep compressed. But as I get closer to the back, I got to spread it out more to get it to match the spread that's right there above the ear. I know y'all just looking at that cut. Y'all just looking at the cut. Let me know if that's ever happened to you guys in the comments. If it's ever happened to you. Um, and don't cap. You know, I feel like even the best of us, man, to this day, that could happen to. Um, especially when you're trying new tools or uh, maybe somebody used one of your tools and you didn't notice that it was overlapping or whatever. Uh, let me know, you know, if it's ever happened to you. All right, so at this point, we're at the one and a half guard. And again, in that uh, in the middle above the ear, I'm staying away from there. It looks like I already cut it with a one and a half guard, and I have it. That's just that's just his hair density, his hair texture. All right, we're using our number three now. We're gonna do this all the way around. We've gone through our system, and we we got a whole lot more detailing to do. Beneath that, we're gonna have to use that two guard to spread it out some more, and really detail. I believe that's what I'm using right here is my number two guard. Start off open and then close it. But like even with this side, this side was definitely tougher just because it also has a different hair growth pattern. Like it starts to kind of grow towards the left 
um, where this side just kind of grows down, just straight down through the whole si left side of his head. On the other side, on the right side of his head, his hair, um, as it gets closer to the hairline, it grows to the right. In the middle above the ear, it kind of splits um, and divides itself. And then to the left of it, it starts to grow to the left. And I think that's why the, in the middle of the right side above the ear, it's so much lighter because that's where the hair kind of splits and grows apart, um, grows the opposite direction um, as far as hair growth pattern is concerned. So that's why I think this side was harder. But again, have patience, um, detail, and it'll come together. So now we're gonna line them up, clean up the C cup. Remember, his hairline is very light. Like he showed me, um, he that's why he likes a low drop fade. Because if if you were to cut like around his hairline with like a number one, there'd be no hair there. Um, you gotta keep length there so that he has a nice um, sharp corner um, and a nice C cup, nice dark C cup. And even this trimmer, I don't know if today was a bad day, but I nicked them with this trimmer too. I don't know if I'm just, I got a heavy hand today or what, but I didn't even think um, I had this this trimmer set too sharp. And what I was, you know, and I, and I showed them, um, but I think that these new tools, man, they coming out with these thin blades, you know, it ain't like it used to be. You know, you gotta adjust and grades adjust <laughs> with the times, right? I ain't gonna get left behind, so. Might have to start just using these these trimmers and these clippers out the box. It was a time where you couldn't even do that. I'm just kind of softening up certain areas, but that low fade looking pretty damn good. It's looking like it's coming together. Oh yeah, that's looking good. That's no enhancements. We are gonna enhance the cut, make it a little bit sharper, but look, that's looking clean. All right. I'm using the Get Beam compressor with 245 no drip. And notice when I do the beard, you can almost, damn, that blend is looking clean. Notice when I do the beard, um, you could barely see the color, but when I line it up, it's gonna really pop. Yeah, that, that low fade really came together. Even before the, the, the enhancement, it really came together. Doing some last minute touches, he's wanting his eyebrows done. And at, at some point, he really was giving a really cool reaction. And he said uh, this was the best cut he's ever had. So that meant a lot to your boy. Because I ain't gonna lie, look at that. That's the before. Nah, this is high di difficulty. This is the after. Guys, he definitely uh, made me work. He definitely was a challenge. If you guys like the cut, please let me know in the comments below. Smash the like button. Guys, we drop daily content on this channel. So I will see you guys tomorrow with another one. Oh, yeah. And this is the different color. So this is a different color right here. And it looks way better on my phone.